Hello survivors and welcome to today's video. So I'm not sure how many of you know Asman. I'm assuming a lot of you do because he is a huge World of Warcraft YouTuber. He streams pretty much all the time and he is one of our favourite people to watch on YouTube. He also does a lot of reaction content where his chat will recommend a lot of content for him to go and view on YouTube and react to. And lo and behold, finally it has got to him about the Ark Survival Evolved snail game situation and I cannot believe this. This came up days ago and when I seen the title it just said biggest video game corruption news of the year. So I just assumed because he talks about Blizzard and stuff a lot I didn't think that he'd be talking about Ark. Um, I know it's got Ark written underneath the title but when it comes up on a different platform if you're not on your PC you don't see what's written in the description. So all I seen was biggest video game corruption news of the year so I just kind of ignored it. I thought oh no I don't fancy watching that at the moment and then yesterday I was at home so I just like binge watched a load of Asman while I was playing Jedi Survivor and this came on and I was like, oh my god, he's actually reacting to Ark and I did not realise. So it is about time someone as big as this got hold of the news and actually made some content about it. So unless you've been hiding under a rock, you'll know what's been going on on the Conquest servers with T-Tribe, Snail Games, with the mass banning of so many players because they were doing well on the Conquest servers against T-Tribe, which Snail Games is associated with. So he was reacting to Gamer Update's video about the situation and he couldn't believe some of the stuff that he was hearing. He couldn't believe the parts mostly about Jeremy Steiglitz, you know, when the Snail CEO was getting false information fabricated about him and also the DDoS allegations against Snail Games. He didn't seem to believe any of this because it does sound mental. Why would a game publisher behave in such a way? Uh, we have proof of Snail Games employees spending $140,000 to DDoS servers, to DDoS their own games servers in order to gain advantage over other tribes. We have- uh... That sounds like bullshit. I don't believe that. Well, all right, you have the you have the evidence. Let me see it. I believe that, bro. Yeah. Messages where the CEO of Snail Games threatens to forge evidence against the co-founder of Wildcard, Jeremy Steiglitz, uh, in order to influence him into decisions. And uh, yeah, uh, we believe that T has strong connections to Snail Games, and Snail Games employees might be playing in T. Uh, and uh, they have been abusing their powers since Arc's official network is up. So, um, yeah, this has been going on for years. And uh... so, basically, the the group they raided, these guys think had developers on it. And whenever they actually raided them and almost beat them, the developers banned everybody who was raiding them. Okay. So the mass banning on Conquest servers actually came to light for us because we were watching Guts Destroy You's Conquest journey. And we were enjoying it. So every night we'd go to bed and we'd watch one of his videos. And then this one night, we were like looking forward to the next part of the video. And that was the night that they had he put the video up that they had got banned. And we just couldn't believe it. I mean, let us know when you first heard of this because it's a bit crazy, isn't it? You do not expect something like this to happen. You could see why Asmund Gold didn't believe it. So he spent a lot of the video talking about how crap the game looks. And this game makes Bleak Faith look like Final Fantasy 16. This is one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life. Look how bad this game looks. It's just, it's... Bro, this looks like it came straight out of 2007. How do, how does anybody play... It's, it's so bad! What is this? I mean, he's not wrong, but at the same time, and someone did, his, did point this out in his chat, that uh, PvP players actually play with really low graphics. So they turn their graphic settings right down so that the dinosaurs and the players will show first. So they'll show before any foliage, any terrain. And then, so if someone's hiding like in a bush or behind a tree or a rock, they can be seen. And also frames. I mean, you see the amount of pillars, foundations, turrets, dinos these guys have. So if you had that on full graphics, the frame rates would just, it would just be unplayable. It would probably crash the game to be honest so obviously he didn't understand that because he hasn't he, he did play arc he said he played it a year ago i mean there has been a few updates since but um he seems to have an issue with the uh, pathfinding of the dinos he said it's a great uh, this is what he said about it i played it with mcconnell and they said asman don't jump while you're on the boat and i said why and i jumped i fell through the floor and drowned no, i could tell that they haven't met a deadline because i saw what the game looked like uh, Arc Max graphics are at max settings. 
Guys, like, can you please stop making excuses for this garbage game? Like, stop it. Like, even if the graphics are good, the dinosaurs move like they got programmed in there by a five-year-old. It's a game that was invented by a middle schooler that it looks like it was programmed by a middle schooler too. I don't care what the how good the dinosaur looks if they go That's what they are. I've played the game. They're garbage. I'm sorry. It's just the game looks like shit. It plays like shit. Everything about it is shit. The only thing that's good is the idea. The idea of Ark Survival is awesome. The implementation of that idea is the problem. So yeah, he, he is right about that. But he did talk a lot during the video just about how bad the game looks. And like I said, at the same time, he just cannot believe what has been going on there. And he's talked about some really crappy developers in the past. He's, you know, he's up to scratch on most gaming news. So for him to be so shocked about this, you know, what does that tell you really? But I was just really excited that someone as big as Asmongold, I mean, if we take a look at his channel here, he has 1.93 million subscribers. Okay, so you can see how popular he is. So it's about time somebody as big as this got hold of this news and put it out there for everybody. And I think it, it can do nothing but good for the community. So this is quite exciting stuff. That's what I thought anyway. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And the big thing is, at the end of the video, he actually says he wants to see evidence about the corruption. Uh, I think it was Hod that actually provided some of the information. You know, when he showed the screenshots of the messages and they'd been translated uh, between the snail CEO and the people he was trying to get to falsify information against Jeremy Steiglitz, who is one of the original developers for ARK. And then he wants to see evidence about these DDoS allegations. Yeah, I documented a lot of this on a YouTube channel. Well, that's fine, man. And I'm not saying they're lying. I'm saying I want to see. So fingers crossed, he actually gets some of this evidence and makes some further content on this in the future. He also said he would like to speak to some of these players who have been banned and stuff. Maybe I should try to talk to some of these guys and see what they have to say. So all we can do is keep our fingers crossed and hope that this is brought to light. I mean, I don't want Wildcard to be hurt by this and I don't want the game, like, I don't want the future plans for the game to be hurt by this either. But at the same time, I do feel something needs to be done about this and more people need to know about how bad snail games are. I mean, I mean, my dream is that Microsoft will buy Ark, and you never know. I mean, it could be a pipe dream, but you never know. I mean, it's a huge game. Yeah, the graphics look shit and all that, but you know, we've got ASA coming out, and it would be nice if someone came in, a new publisher, and bought it, and there was none of this shady shit going on because it is just ridiculous. I've kept my mouth kind of shut. I know the Dino Lord and myself have spoken about this on sort of previous podcast type videos that we've done, but we haven't fully spoken about the snail games controversy up until now really hopefully you guys are happy that somebody like Asmund Gold is speaking about this now and maybe even more people will I mean I thought it had died down a bit by now but it seems like a lot more people are getting wind of this so I will leave links in the description to Asmund Gold to Gamer Update and also to Guts Destroy You who is the YouTuber whose tribe actually got kicked he is actually streaming on kick at the moment as well if you want to go and follow him because his content is fantastic and yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments guys thank you so much for watching have a great day and take care get the bell on